John, we're live. Recording to the PC has begun. According to the cloud has begun as well, and the stream looks good. Thank you so much. Back up is rolling. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote for the Committee on Education. At this time, would all council members please turn on their video cameras for verification purposes. And to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Traeger, we are ready to begin. Good afternoon. My name is Mark Traeger, Chair of the Education Committee. We are convened today to vote on proposed intro number 139A, a local law in relation to requiring the DOE to report on student health services in correlation with student housing status for students in kindergarten through a grade eight. This bill is sponsored by Council Member 11. This committee heard this, heard this bill at a joint hearing with Committee on General Welfare on April 16th of this year. Students experiencing homelessness and living in temporary housing attend schools in every single district in the city. Citywide, that, that is nearly 98,000 students or 9.4% of the overall student population. Prior to COVID-19 pandemic, homeless children and youth already faced many obstacles that hinder them from achieving their full potential. COVID-19 has exacerbated those obstacles and added new, new ones. At our hearing, we heard from advocates, parents, and students on the challenges they face every day during this pandemic, from appropriate educational spaces within shelters to transportation to access to Wi-Fi, to having an internet able computer to engage in remote learning to food security. These issues and so many more are acutely felt by homeless students. This introduction amends an existing daily reporting requirement on student health and health services. The data includes information on student-based health centers, common student illnesses, and health screenings. This intro will now require such information to be disaggregated by student housing status for students in kindergarten through grade eight in order to assist the council in identifying unique or acute health challenges faced by such students who reside in temporary housing. I will now turn to my colleague, Chair Levin, for opening remarks. I want to thank also my committee staff uh, for their work uh, and, and uh, certainly will call the clerk to call the roll as soon as we, uh, if we hear from Chair uh, Levin. Uh, actually, Chair, it's Malcolm. We did not hear from Chair Levin, so we can go straight to uh, Billy. Okay, so we'll, we'll call the vote. <clears throat> Good afternoon, William Martin, committee clerk. We'll call vote committee on education. Proposed introduction 139A. Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Drum. Sorry, aye. Thank you. Lander. I vote aye, thank you. Thank you. Rose. I vote aye. Thank you. Carnegie. I wanna publicly um, congratulate uh, minority, minority leader Matteo in his new role and for setting an example, both him, Borelli, and the other Republicans in our body of how we can work together. Uh, an example for the rest of this country. I vote on. Thank you. Kalos. Aye. Thank you. Gordenchik. Aye. Okay. Uh, Brennan. Aye. Lewis. I vote aye. Riley. I vote aye. Gennaro. Yes. Dinowitz. Council member Dinowitz. Right, we'll come back to council member. Feliz. Aye. Thank you. Borelli. Aye. Thank you, council member Barron. Hello. Oh, council member Dinowitz, yes. Yes. Thank you, Thank you sir. Council member Barron. Council member, you're on mute. Okay, great, thank you. I vote aye and thanks to everyone who helped me join via my phone. <laughs> thank you, we got it. Okay. 
and you got it. <laughs> Thank you. One moment. Council member 11. Uh, but I. Thank you. Okay, by a vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero I'm in the negative. Hi, brother. I'm here, Rodriguez. Is this education? Oh, excuse me, Councilman Rodriguez. Yes. Uh, in proposed I, introduction I, I, one. I'm sorry, I, I said it. We're talking at the same time. <laughs> okay, I vote I. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Okay, one moment. Okay, by a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Uh, Mr. Chair, we still have a couple of members outstanding. Uh, did any of the members indicate to folks that they're um, on the way or? I will let you know momentarily. Okay, Mr. Chair, we can close.